Hey guys, so today I want to take a quick look here at the browser in my iPhone 5 with iOS 7 Golden Master Edition, uh, which is the latest edition over here as well by the moment. And then we do have my Samsung Galaxy S4 here with Android and uh, all, all that good stuff. So let's just take a look at the default browser here and we can see what kind of version also of Android it is. Android 4.2.2 and then I'm also pretty sure Android 4.3 should come and arrive pretty soon. <clears throat> so we have Safari here of course and then we just have the browser called internet here. Oh my god, my Samsung device. You can see it loads up quicker there uh, from a fresh boot uh, on the iPhone. Now of course the iPhone has smaller display so you won't see as much uh, but uh, one thing that's better here with the iPhone definitely is that you can see our screen brightness turn very very high here on both devices. So if I just go into uh, this area you can see full brightness. It's very very bright on the LCD display in, in the iPhone while it's just dark here on the AMOLED display. The AMOLED displays aren't really that good. Uh, in terms of brightness there, especially not on white colors. So let's just go to a website here. Let's see here if we can pop up. My bad. So hard to do this at the same time on both smartphones. Okay, so loading up the mobile version here of GSM Arena. Uh, let's just go in here, desktop view, just one tap, and it will reload the page to a desktop view if we would like that. Here I have to go down to the bottom, usually on, on websites, to load the desktop version, but you can't take it in, so it always loads that, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, it's, it's a little bit annoying. Uh, so, let's see here. I mean, we shouldn't really have any issues. You can see here that Apple, in earlier releases of, uh, of their software, they've been very, very good at optimizing everything. And you can see here that it's just butter smooth, Every time I try to zoom in on something or do by hand, it doesn't really have to reload anything. While here, uh, you can see it's doing some re-rendering. Okay, that's a random ad. Um, you can see every time I go in and out, it's just like it's re-rendering stuff. It's a little bit awkward. Or it's not a super big deal, but you can even see the difference how like almost like Android looks a little bit laggy versus, ver, ver, versus butter smooth performance here. Which I definitely do understand why some a lot of people pick Apple over Android because I mean, no problem or anything, just looks super cool. Uh, I gotta say overall that I like Android more, but still can't they like fix many of these things? They are a little bit weird. Let's just load up something over here. And here loads up way quicker uh, on the iPhone. <clears throat> uh, one thing though I do enjoy usually more about Android uh, than with iOS is that when I want to scroll on something, you can see here how much scrolling I need to do on the iPhone just to go up and to the bottom of a page where usually in Android you can just do one swipe and you will hit both the bottom and the top of a website. Now if you just want to go into reading mode on both devices, of course they, they have a, a thing like that up here at the top something called uh, R mode, but uh, you can see here they are kind of about the same. Uh, it will bring out all the text and usually all the pictures. Uh, 
so that's pretty nice. Here you can also change the size of the text. Don't think you can here. No, it doesn't seem like so. So I think that's a little bit interesting. So this is see here when we go back. It seems like Apple doesn't have the re-render when you go back a page. Let's see here, you can see you can quickly go back a page here. Uh, let's see here. I mean, you kind of like cache the website something you, because you can just go back like this. Uh, I definitely do believe that that's a very, very useful feature, uh, which is pretty cool also that you can swipe from the side. I mean, it's it's kind of like extremely useful. Of course, both browsers also uh, have other features uh, which uh, you do enjoy, like incognito mode, if you just want to go in a private mode. And uh, see here if we do it on both. What this will happen is that you can see the browser goes dark on both devices and uh, you can go search for porn or something and it won't save any history, uh, which is kind of nice. And then when you're finished, you can just untap that. Okay, here I think I need to just close the tab. And I mean, look at this window manager uh, on my Samsung device. It looks so ugly. I mean, it's it's, just, it's like a joke. Uh, I know there's other browsers, but in this browser, in this video, I'm comparing Samsung's own browser. Uh, compared to Apple's more like cover flow theme here, which is butter smooth, but this looks like a joke. Look at the sides and everything. Uh, yeah, it doesn't feel like they can do that better. Uh, it looks like Windows 2000 or something. Is it a joke? I have no idea. Let's see here if we can fire up a page. There we go. Maybe I should do some more browser uh, speed tests also in, in these kinds of videos. Um, I might do that in the future. And also if you want me to check out a specific, uh, specific websites, uh, let me know about that as well. Uh, but just a quick look here at the browsers. There are good advantages on both sides, of course. One of them here with Android, of course, is that you get that bigger display usually. And that can definitely be a, be a big, big, big thing for a lot of people when they are picking up a brand new smartphone.